Hello everybody, we are at an old Ream RR GG package unit. About 20 some odd years old. And we are going to change out a faulty flame rollout switch and try to ascertain why it's having trouble running where all the rollout switches. Oh. Rollout switch is triggered. I know some of the baffles are rusted out, so we're gonna see if we can't get this thing to run and give this thing one more winter before she dies. There's our Honeywell ignition control. Our gas valve there. Here's our rollout switch, which was triggered cutting power and we also have looks like it got toasted to rewire that too so we're going to rewire this compartment where we have burnt wires get them out of the way off of this panel replace this switch and see if we can't get this thing going and uh, see what's up with it our old limit switch is out along with our fried wire which may or may not have grounded up against the cabinet during this process but we have a new Facsimile, it's not the exact same. It's our little experimental model. Let's see if we can't get a better result out of it. It's actually a little bit less as far as temperature sensing. It's 300 degrees instead of 310, but I could not get the exact model. All right, guys, she's up and running right now. Uh, she starts pretty rough. Um, get a little bit of what seems to be like a block flu symptom where you have debris in the flue where the flames roll back. I cleaned it out the best I could. I had to go inside of this top compartment, which is the exhaust, scoop out all the rust and debris, and there was a lot. Um, these bottom two holes are fresh air. There's a little fan mounted right here, pointing downward. It's actually pressurizing the... well, there goes the fan. And whoosh. thing is a beater okay guys we have the RRGG all apart what I found was when I looked inside the end of the unit looked up into the burners I saw a very very suspicious piece of rust so I then took the top off of the unit here and looked inside there and I could see the light coming through the other side so the heat exchanger is definitely cracked, which is bad news for my neighbor here. Um, when the blower came on, I did feel the whoosh coming back on this burner uh, from that heat exchanger because this blower blows directly into the end of that heat exchanger where it's cracked. So, bad news for this old boy. So our homeowner is on the way home and I figured I'd give a little brief description of what was happening here. Uh, originally these wires were burnt up, switch was in pretty poor shape, so optimistically, I guess, uh, went to change out the rollout switch. And uh, this one didn't trip this time, so more than likely the other rollout switch was actually bad. But the reason why it was bad was probably because it had been through the mill. Burner number three. There we are right here, on the back side of it, we have a hole in the heat exchanger. When the unit starts up, it burns gas until the fan control tells it it's time to turn the indoor blower on when it reaches a certain temperature. The indoor blower comes on and blows back the flame repeatedly enough times until it eventually goes and trips off or blows the pilot out. So there we go. She gone.